So we recently got this comment in one of our videos asking us to review the Boat Immortal 121, a gaming TWS. And I was actually interested because I had never tried a gaming TWS before. So you know what? What we did is we got these gaming Thule wireless earbuds and all under 2000 rupees. So there's the Tag Rogue 500 GT, Wings Phantom Godlike Gaming TWS, Petron Bass Buds Rush, Boat Immortal 121, and we've also got Oppo Enco Buds, which are usual earbuds, but I wanted to see how is it different to a gaming TWS. So what are the factors that matter in a gaming TWS? The biggest factor, according to me, is obviously the latency. See, gaming earbuds need to have a super low latency so as to make sure that you don't feel any audio lag in the game that might affect your gameplay. Now, all of these earbuds officially claim a very low latency. It's all around 40-50 milliseconds, as you can see, while the Oppo Enco Buds, even in its game mode, offers 80 milliseconds. Now, the one big question I had in my mind is, can you feel a difference in latency between a normal TWS versus the gaming TWS? The answer is yes. Look, after testing out all the gaming earbuds, the Oppo Enco Buds felt like they have the highest latency. It's not bad, but you can feel the difference once you've used a gaming earbud. To give you an idea, if you rapid fire and then quickly take your finger off the trigger, you can hear the audio catching up on the Oppo Enco Buds. As for the gaming earbuds, I think all of them have very good low latency and I think they're very good for gaming. But the one earbud with the quickest response out of the lot for me was the Tag Rogue 500 GT. Now we tested the latency by firing rapidly and also selectively and then checking how quick the audio comes back. We tested this in two games, Apex Legends as well as PUBG New State and the 500 GT was the quickest in terms of audio response with the sound coming as soon as we pull the trigger and yeah it's very very good and if you game a lot you will love the response it offers. As for the other options, like I said, all of them are pretty good for gaming, but the second best in terms of latency for me was the Boat Immortal 121, which also is very, very good for gaming. I mean, the Tag Rogue 500 GT is the absolute best, no doubts, but this also offers very low latency, and a lot of people will be fine with the Boat Immortal 121's gaming performance. Another big factor in terms of gaming earbuds is the mic quality because if you play multiplayer games, you need a mic that's crisp and clear. Now, I did a mic test with all of these earbuds. So first up, this audio is from the Tag Rogue 500 GT. Next up, this audio is from the Wings Phantom Godlike Truly Wireless earbuds. This audio is from the Petron Bass Bug Rush. And lastly, this audio is from the Boat Immortal 121, which I think has the best mics on the lot because it's just clearer than the other gaming TWS. Moving on to the next factor, you also want your gaming TWS to kind of look cool and all of these TWSs come with an interesting design with either RGB or some sort of LEDs that give them the gamery feel. I mean, all of these earbuds have these lights on the case, they have lights on the earbuds, but I think two earbuds stand out here. The Tag earbuds and the Boat earbuds both have proper RGB lights and I like how you can press this button on the Tag case and change the lighting effect from single colors to even a rainbow effect. Now, out of these two, I personally like the board design more because it just has the perfect balance of being classy while also having the gamery look. I think both the case and the earbuds look very cool and kind of stylish if you ask me. And while all the earbuds have a plastic build, the Boat ones are the least plasticky, if you know what I mean. The Petron case does show this battery status and charging animation, which is cool. And special mention to the Wings Phantom earbuds because they have the logo of the Indian esports team, Godlike. But yeah, I would say the Boat earbuds look the best while also being very comfortable. Second, only to tag earbuds in comfort. As for the functionality, they all have an IP rating and they all have touch controls, but there's no ear detection or ANC kind of, obviously. When it comes to sound quality here, the size of the drivers as well as the frequency range of these earbuds. And let me be honest, all of these gaming TWS sound okay, nothing special. And in fact, the best sounding earbuds out of these is the Oppo Enco Buds, which outputs just very balanced audio. However, when it comes to gaming earbuds, I would say the Tag Rogue has the best sound with good details and good bass, kind of nice. As for the battery, here's a comparison of the battery life with the case on all of these earbuds and you can see that the Boat Immortal 121 will last you the longest while the Tag earbuds have the worst battery life. Look, after all these tests and comparison, I was kind of confused between two gaming earbuds, the Tag 500 GT and the Boat Immortal 121. Now, I personally would have recommended the Tag earbuds more, but I just have big doubts on its battery life and that's why I think the Boat earbuds have an edge. See, the Boat Immortal 121 is just the best looking gaming TWS under 2K. It just looks really cool while looking premium. It also has the best mic quality, the best battery life, and it's a close second to tag in terms of gaming latency, sound quality, and also comfort. The Tag earbuds, on the other hand, are the best in terms of gaming response. It has the best sound quality when compared to gaming TWSs, and it is very comfortable to wear, but battery life is where it kind of falls short. 
Now one thing to note though, if you're not a big gamer, I think you should get regular earbuds like say the Oppo Enco earbuds, which has better sound quality than any of these gaming TWSs, which seem to compromise on the sound quality to get the super low latency. And if you have you tried any budget gaming TWS, share your experience in the comment section down below. Also give this video a like if you found it useful and share this video with your friends who have been wanting to buy a gaming TWS under 2000 rupees and subscribe to our channel, hit that bell icon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. TikTok is banned in India, so you must be thinking why I'm talking about it. Well, this will make you think. Recently, Tristan Harris, a technology ethicist, revealed TikTok's mystery algorithm. See, TikTok in the US shows teens funny videos dancing with the latest music trends, but TikTok in China is 